Hey everyone, welcome back to Under One Roof with me, Denise. So today I'm going to share with you ten very simple, renter-friendly, easy on the pockets home organizational ideas, tips, hacks, whatever you may call it. These small organizers have helped me eliminate so much of visual clutter, and have also helped me organize small spaces. But before we get on with the video, uh, if you guys like my content, please do consider subscribing and also click that bell icon to receive notifications of upcoming videos. Now, let's get on with the video. Now, in my house, I do not have a utility area and I store my mop and spin mop near this guest bathroom. And I really don't like it because it causes so much of visual clutter. And I was going through Amazon and I found this mop and broom holder which didn't require any form of drilling onto the tiles because I didn't want to call a carpenter into the house given the whole situation today and this was just perfect for me. Now I can just put my mop in like this, just press it in and it gets attached. It, I was at first a little apprehensive as to how it's going to stick, whether it's going to fall because of the moisture, but no, it is completely non-slip and waterproof. And if you're living in a rented apartment, it's perfect because you don't have to drill holes on the wall. I did not want to drill holes to damage my tiles, so this was perfect for me. I'll be mentioning all the links of the products that I'll be showing you today in the description box below. You can always check it out. So this next one is a stainless steel 4 bar towel rack. After sanitizing my kitchen towels and sponge wipes, I used to just let it dry near the sink. But I found this rack and it proved to be a better drying solution. So I have placed it near my kitchen window and it gets air dried in no time. You don't need to punch holes on the wall as it is installed with two adhesive stickers. You can spin the arms in different directions and it's completely ideal for tight spaces. This is a set of shelf dividers. It helps to keep all our essentials neatly organized if you prefer stacking your linens or towels or clothes in high piles for utilizing the storage space efficiently. I have used these organizers to separate the pile of towels in my linen closet. You can definitely optimize the vertical space in large shelves by using these organizers. If you have seen my earlier video on kids wardrobe organization, then this will be familiar. These are book ends and I use them in my kids wardrobes to organize their clothes. I folded all their clothes in a file system method and to prevent clothes from falling, I've used these bookends. When they need a piece of clothing, they pick it up and then push the bookend back and the clothes are still neat and organized. Now this is an old cup stand that I had. It was just lying in my cabinet and I thought I'll just reuse it. Hence I have used it to hang my daughter's knickknacks, her bracelets, her little necklaces, small little things that she has. I've placed it all on this organizer. I've placed this stand in her wardrobe so it uses the vertical space and plus all these bracelets and everything don't get entangled. If you have a daughter then you too might be facing storage issues for tons of hairbands. Well, I used so much of drawer space until I started using this stand. The hairbands can easily be arranged on this stand and it also looks really cute. For these elastic headbands, I have just glued these wooden pegs using a glue gun. You can also use a double sided tape and then hung them on the side of a wardrobe. Hence the wall space 
is also used up initially it was just put in a box here i have saved some flat space and also used the vertical space This is a small little uh, rack to store my sanitizer bottle just outside my main door. It was easy to install as it did not require any drilling. It just has to be stuck and the rack has to be attached to the hooks. Functional and doesn't damage the wall as well. I had an old potato masher and I just thought I'd use it to store my bangles. So this is it, vertical space used, plus it's helped me organize my frequently used bangles. This last one is a simple DIY solution to store your toiletries in your washroom in case you have less storage space. All you need is a binder clip, a command hook, and an or an S-shaped hook. All you have to do is attach the binder clip to the tube. You can attach it to conditioner or face wash or whatever it is and then attach this command hook to your washroom wall. Once it's attached, just hang this tube using the binder clip onto the command hook and that's it, you can use it. If you do not want to use a command hook, you can use this S-shaped hook. You can just attach this binder clip onto the S-shaped hook like that and hang it on any towel, uh, you know, towel holder or a shower, whatever. All you need to do is then just open the face wash and then close it back again. Done. A simple solution. So that's it for me guys. That was the last one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, for all those who haven't subscribed guys, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next week with another video. Have a lovely weekend and a safe week ahead. Bye-bye.